Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More. It's Leo speaking. Well, today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Knock from plugins that knock. It's a fantastic uh, processor effect plugin for your drums. It's really amazing. Um, before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. So as I was saying, the plugin, it's really amazing in terms of the effects and the sound that it can produce. It has been crafted by the producer and world winning sound designer D Cup, and it has been inspired from uh, um, a signature sound of popular drum kit series, Drum That Knock. So, as I said, it's truly amazing. The interface is really straightforward. Uh, you can see it here as an AUV3 inside uh, AUM, and the interface is really, really nice as well. As you can see, I have now um, Hammerhead here. Why not? Let's load a factory preset, the first one. It doesn't really matter. We just uh, lower a little bit the um, volume. Remove for now, uh, knock, and let's listen to what it sounds like. Okay, pretty standard. So let's open knock. First of all, let's go through the interface. And it's really straightforward, but still, it's important to go through it. So on the left-hand side here, you have Punch. is a transient shaper. It amplifies attack for your drums, so that you can make them more snappier, punchier, etc. So it's really, really nice. And you have a control here uh, where you can adjust the level, right? And here you have also control that adjusted the input as well. Here you have a low-pass filter, high-pass filter as well, and this year you have a um, switch on and off to match the incoming gain as well. You can change the quality for, to good and pristine as well, and you can change also the tone as well with this dial. It, it acts almost like an EQ um, or a little bit of a filter, really, in terms of actually emphasize the lower part or the higher uh, part or range. Then you drive and wet effects, and then you have also dial here to adjust your output as well. Next here, you have saturation. And this is where you can add uh, harmonic distortion, right? Be careful because the level can go really high and you can adjust it, of course, with this dial underneath, okay? So yeah, just be careful. And you can have uh, three different levels here, all right? So you can go for a soft, medium, and hard as well. Next here, you have sub. This is my favorite one. It detects um, and the kick drum when it's present and it generates a layered sub frequency tone, um, which gives you that deep low end presence. It's really, really nice. You can adjust the tone here as well, and you have the decay there. So you can go up and down here for the tone, which is really nice. Next, we have air, which is quite interesting. It adds um, at the top end of your drum tracks. So without that harshness that you can find in uh, some of the other uh, plugins. And you have two types, uh, really, of modes, your vintage and clean. And then finally, you have um, a clip here, a hard or soft clipper here. And you can adjust it here from soft to hard as well. And with this control, and then you can adjust the level here, right? So it's really, really nice. And it gives you, you can have um, make the drums warmer, or more aggressive depending on the mode that you select. Okay, so we are on a default preset. There are a lot of other presets you can choose as well. But let's stay on the default preset and then let's listen and apply some of these effects. So you can hear that uh, punch which is coming in. I hope you have uh, headphones to actually um, give you justice. Otherwise, it's very difficult to hear um, how amazing this effect is. And you can match the gain here. And of course, um, sometimes it, go it can go lower than what you're hearing, depending on what is your input gain, right? Let's go for saturation. Now 
Be careful at the levels with saturation because it can get really, really loud. Now let's move to sub. This is my favorite one. Let's listen. you can start to hear that uh, deep low end presence right really really nice let's go forward and let's try air really nice again and then lastly let's try the clipper last case because the volume is much higher than what you had in the input you can match the gain you can hear the difference that uh, is lowering the gain Great. The tone you get from the plugin is really, really exceptional. Now let's move to the next one and then back to the previous one. So we have the default settings. Now let's remove uh, Amahead and let's add uh, something else like um, SDS. Let's connect it to Ocotron, which uh, is a really nice uh, MIDI drum sequences i'll definitely recommend you know i'll be doing shortly a video let's load a custom map which is specific to sds like so and let's create a simple bit um like so and then some close hat like so let's click play Okay, that's fine. And now let's play again with the effect from left to right. Let's listen. Remember, you can adjust the low pass and a high pass as well for your convenience. It really transforms the drums really so much is so good now let's um, again uh, remove that and um, let's choose something like uh, Ruiz Maker as well let's connect it again to the drum MIDI sequencer like so let's uh, go reset these to default then let's go in octachrome and let's load the mapping corresponding to actually no SDS, that is where it was, uh, but to Ruiz Maker. Oops, uh, there it is. Okay, let's play. Okay, that's better in terms of adjusting the gain a little bit. So let's try again with the controls.
here you can really hear the punching effect on your drum sounds really really nice how pulsating it is here with the sub. It's really, really nice with Roost Maker. Okay, this is really a special plugin. I hope you really enjoyed and I definitely recommend it if you are into drums. This is amazing. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration and the short tutorial and as always, see you next time. Bye.